Winning a medal in Vancouver was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. And to think about all the things I'd been through, um, not only those past three years in bobsled, but through my entire athletic career, through my entire life, uh, it all culminated in that moment. And um, it's one of those moments where you know how real God is. My name is Alana Myers and I uh, grew up playing softball. I started playing softball at the age of nine and decided I want to be an Olympian at the age of nine. Fell in love with softball and then just carried it on. Uh, played at George Washington University and then played professionally in Michigan. And now I'm a bobsetter. In college, I started going through some really hard times. Started struggling quite a bit, uh, depression, uh, eating disorders, things like that. And my whole life felt like it was out of chaos. Um, I was at a point where softball became the center of my life, and that was the only thing that mattered. Um, and I was putting everything else on the back burner because of softball. And then our softball team was doing really bad, so that being the center of my life, I got really depressed. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what my purpose was. I didn't know what was going on. Um, so. I just started researching religions, uh, so I guess something inside of me told me like I needed something more than this. I need something higher. And actually, um, I was on a, I was reading about Buddhism, oddly enough, and I was on a uh, elliptical in um, in Atlanta over Christmas break, reading a book about Buddhism, and um, all of a sudden I just started crying. Like I was reading the book, and it just hit me that you know, Jesus is the way. Um, I can't explain it by anything other than that. Um, it was just so strong and so powerful that I literally got off the got off the elliptical and I was just crying and I just knew that I needed to change my life. And um, ever since, like, I stopped having problems with depression. I stopped having problems with the eating disorder and all that kind of stuff and um, got involved in uh, AIA group in uh, my college, George Washington, and those people really helped me grow. I think the biggest thing about my faith is um, I, God really healed me in this eating disorder um, because when the moment hit me that I was that I didn't need to uh, worry that God has my back that he's taking care of everything that I don't need to be in control of everything um, it really did change my life and my dis eating disorder symptoms pretty much stopped at that moment um, which sounds ridiculous uh, you know I've seen psychologists and things before that time and um, I've seen them after and they can't believe it but I don't think um, it might be one of those things I think it's one of those things that's hard to believe if you're coming at it with a scientific mind and not a faith mind because uh, we in the faith know how possible that is that God is God is able to do all things um, so he really healed me at that moment so for me after that moment it really hasn't been a struggle because I know he's in control um, eating disorders for me was a big thing about control and now that I know that I don't have to have it I don't have to control every single aspect and I can't control every single aspect um, it's really freed me up and it's really uh, allowed me to become the person I, I want to be and I I hope God wants me to be as well.